Scientists at NASA just discovered the biggest explosion in the history of the universe that we can see. It's big enough to fit 15 Milky Way galaxies inside. It erupted from a black hole in a galaxy hundreds of millions of light years away. Astronomers figured it out by using X-ray data from NASA's Chandra X-ray Observatory and ESA's XMM Newton. They also collected radio data from the Murchison Widefield Array, MWA, in Australia and the giant Metrowave Radio Telescope, GMRT, in India. The humdinger of an explosion that's the subject of this video occurred in the Ophiuchus Galaxy Cluster that lies about 390 million light years away. In case you're not sure, galaxy clusters are the biggest structure in the mind-bending thing we call the universe. They contain thousands of galaxies, dark matter, and hot gas. Think of it like some melting pot of a city like New York, but in universal terms. It's one of those places where whatever exists out there, you're gonna find it on one of these clusters. In the center of this Ophiuchus cluster is a supermassive black hole. It's like the place deep in the Bronx that's probably a bit dangerous to go to, but you know, that's where the party is. Scientists are pretty sure that this black hole is where the epic explosion erupted from. While black holes tend to suck in everything around them, they also have an imposing force scientists are still trying to understand that simultaneously repel mass amounts of materials and energy. It just contains so much power that chaos abounds at their center. This gas and matter gets sucked into the center and gets beamed outwards again, smashing to anything in its way. Think of that party in the Bronx. You're pulled in irresistibly. You could also get knocked 10 feet in the air by one of the locals at a moment's notice. Upon observing the Ophiuchus cluster, scientists at Chandra noticed that it had an inwardly curved edge to it that wasn't similar to any other edge of the galaxy cluster. They were unsure about what this represented. Why would this odd curved edge exist in the galactic cluster? Step up a study by Jetan Tucci and co-authors who proved that a ridiculously large explosion actually had taken place. First, they backed up the Chandra observation of a curved edge with X-ray data from the XMM Newton. Then they overlaid it with radio wave data from another telescope and data from the GMRT archives. One thing radio wave data picks up are explosions usually in the form of something called relativistic jets, left over from black holes when they begin repelling massive amounts of dust and matter they were accreting. This is when they noticed the radio wave data straddled the weird curve around the galactic dust cloud. These emissions are pumped out by electrons that have been accelerated to the speed of light. According to the scientists, the only likely place that this accretion originated would be from a supermassive black hole. The emissions from this supermassive black hole were so massive that they blew out a cavity from within the galactic cluster cloud. For context, the amount of energy needed to create a cavity that humongous was about five times more the energy needed to create the previously biggest known cavity, called MS0735 equals 74. It was also hundreds of thousands of times more than those found in standard galactic clusters. Okay, so let's now look how we're sure that this is an event that happened in the past and not something that's still occurring now. We know it's over because the Chandra data shows that there are no energy jets in this present day radio data. The coldest, thickest gas pockets lie off center of the central point of the galaxy cluster. When the gas is away from this point, it means that the black hole would be deprived of the fuel material that it needs to create the jet beams of energy. The gas was probably moved from its center by a kind of sloshing motion that happens when two galaxy clusters come into contact with each other. There's also a possibility that the displacement was caused by a huge explosion of sorts. Scientists aren't really certain. Another puzzling thing is that there's only one giant area of observable radio emission. There should be two one on either side of the black hole. What could have happened though, is that the gas on the other side of the cluster isn't as thick, and so the radio emission from there faded faster. 